up, fam? Welcome back to Meech and Monica. Want to welcome y'all back to the channel. Hey, if you had subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, set your notifications so you'll be notified when we put these videos up. But uh, I'm finna turn this over to Jamonica, uh, aka Monica. And, uh, AKA Monica. Okay, Demetrius. All right then, Jamonica. But anyway, we got a huge grocery haul and I'm gonna turn this over to Monica so she finna take over this video. So hold on, one, two, three. All right, family. Welcome back to the grocery haul. So, we didn't film in the store today, me or Meech. We just really did not feel like, we really did not feel like recording. So I think I show a little footage, but um, let's get into this grocery haul. Okay. What'd you say, Meech? I said, okay, I was just backing up cause you got so much stuff. You like got <laughs> the whole kitchen filled up with groceries. Look at all this stuff, y'all. And I think I took y'all to, um. Fresh Market. I don't think I took y'all inside a Fresh Market before, but I had to go to Fresh Market. Okay, so let's get started. Over here, we have some organic tortilla chips. I picked those up from Costco. And then we have some cocktail sauce, tiger sauce. Demetrius and I finally found some more tiger sauce at Publix today. And then we saw it after we picked it up from Publix. We saw it at Walmart, right? And then we have, what is that that I have up there? Strawberry Preserve. P Publix had that, buy one, get one free. They also had the Italian dressing, buy one, get one free. Now, I like to marinate my chicken with the Italian dressing and then bake it. Then uh, Publix, we purchased the bugles from Publix. Me just wanted some bugles. And what else we got down there? Some Chex Mix. Those came from Publix, BOGO. And then we have some corn. That fresh corn came from Costco. And then we have some taco rice. That's going to be for um, taco night. And then what y'all know about those Mickey Mouse popsicles? Mitchell, did you used to get those from the, uh, from the ice cream truck? Every time it came through. How much you paid for that? It was a dollar fifty. And then we have some cereal. Now all of these was BOGO. We have the cocoa pebbles, the fruity pebbles, cinnamon toast crunch, and the lucky charms. Some lasagna because I'm gonna make some um I saw this recipe for some fried lasagna. But I think I'm gonna make like some lasagna roll-ups and some lasagna fritters. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. And then, of course, we have some Capri Sun, some vanilla wafers. I'm going to be making a, what is it? A banana pudding cheesecake. So that's what the vanilla wafers. And then I have sweet condensed milk and vanilla pudding. And also cream cheese over there on the end that I'm going to be making or uh, using to make that. Then, of course, I had to get some baker's jar. So, if you bake, this is good a good spray to use. Um, your cakes will come out of the pan with no problem. And then I picked up some, what is it, sweet potato pie from Publix. Do not be sleep on Publix sweet potato pie. Now, I don't know. Is it ice? Is it showing ice in the front, Mitchell? Mm -hmm. It's just uh, water. Okay. Well, I had it in the freezer, but it comes, I mean, it, it doesn't come frozen. It comes fresh, but I just put it in the freezer because I knew we weren't going to be using it um, today. And then I purchased some heavy cream from Costco, some Rice Krispie treats, and also some Oreos. I purchased the Oreos from Publix. They was buy one, get one. And then I purchased the Rice Krispie treats from Walmart. Little Bites, buy one, get one. And all of the um, pasta sauce, I purchased those from Walmart because Publix didn't have those on sale. I also purchased some um, vanilla flavor and some cooking oil from Sam's. Some Glory Greens. Now, if y'all have not tried the Glory Greens, I just add a little sugar to them 
and I like those. I don't cook the fresh greens because I'm the only one eat them, so that would kind of be a waste. And then I purchased the kids some chocolate chip cookies from Whole Foods. Their chocolate chip cookies are really good. And I purchased some chocolate brownies, I mean brownies, chocolate muffins from Fresh Market. I also purchased me some of the cranberry and orange muffins. Those are really good. And I purchased the peaches from, where did I get those from? Fresh Market also. Then I purchased these croissants for Demetrius to take the work from Publix. They had those on sale. Um, Bogo, and I also purchased him this chicken salad croissant. That's a nice thing. I purchased this from um Fresh Market, and then some cucumbers. Y'all know I love cucumbers. Um, I purchased those from Walmart, and then Fresh Market had these tempura shrimp. So I'm gonna try these out. So they were like they were 79 cent each. And I purchased 10 of those. Okay, you all know I get all of my meat from Publix. So from Publix, I purchased this beef, um, Italian turkey, ground sirloin. And then I also purchased a whole chicken, some chicken wings, and chicken breast. Okay, and then from Publix, I also purchased um, some sweet tea, romaine lettuce. I usually buy the Sara Lee bread, but they had what the Nature's, what is this? Nature's Own bread, buy one, get one free. So I purchased two of those. That binder, I just need that like for business stuff. So I purchased that from Walmart. And then I wanted to make my um, banana pudding cheesecake in this, um, what is this? Pie dish. In this pie dish, so I thought that was cute. I purchased this from Publix. It was like $7.99. So I like that. I may end up going back to get another one just for the holidays and stuff like that. And then I also purchased some Pepsi. That was BOGO. Some, um pasta and then this queso dip i don't know if i told you all about this queso dip or not but this is really good i purchased that from costco and it tastes like the real deal y'all i also purchased the one that we usually get from publix um this was the only one they had and so like i said this is really good so i just purchased both of those and i also purchased some brown eggs now, I'm going to see Mitchell's. You going to try these? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dylan said he'll try with me. Y'all know I've been wanting to try these, and I went into Publix today, and they had those on sale, BOGO. So I'm going to try those. I also picked up these taco shells from Sam's. This, to me, is a really good deal. It was like $4, and I want to say $0.36 cent, um, for 36 tacos, and then those are like the stand the stand-up tacos. Um, I've been having my eye on this kombucha. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've been seeing other people talk about this. Um, so I decided to try this flavor. I guess it's like a pear and something else going on. I'm not sure, but it says parade punch. So I figured you can't go wrong with punch. So I'm gonna give that a try. Of course, I purchased some water. Usually we don't get like small waters like this, but Publix had this buy one, get one. I want to say for like $3 and some or something like that. And of course, I picked up some Dungeness. I hadn't had Dungeness in a while. So I picked up some Dungeness crab from a store called Rouses down here. And then I picked up um, some snow crabs from Publix. If you have a Publix, they do have the snow crabs on sale for $9.99. So that's it, y'all. That's the grocery haul. Mitch's might have quiet tonight. I think Mitch's tired. Now, you know how to do all the explaining. I might forget some. Oh. But yeah, y'all, I think we, we we left home at like 12. 
and got back. Uh, what time did we make it back home? About six. Yeah, so we we just did not want to record while we was out because we had a lot of running around to do so. Um, so this video, I'm sure, is going to be very short, but I know you all like to see different items that we purchase. I want to taste these. Um, I want to taste these. Come on, let me just taste them with mm -hmm. you. ain't going to taste them. I want to. Why they don't have a thing where you can close them back up? You want to taste them, Jamal? <laughs> Like. It kind of tastes like a um, what's some things you like? Uh uh, them puffs. Like the Cheeto puffs, yeah, but it don't taste, you don't know, have a cheesy. What would it taste like if it don't taste like cheap puffs? I don't know, I can't explain it, but it, it's not bad. It don't taste like what you think a green pea snack would taste like. I don't trust it. Come on. Let's get his reaction, y'all. I don't trust you. It's good. I'm telling you it's good. I won't tell you to I won't tell you to eat it if it wasn't good. Yes, you would. It's not bad. So what did it taste like to you? I don't know. But don't it kind of put you in the mind of like that that texture? Don't tell like that. Hold on. <laughs> That's just the lightly salted. Next time we need to go get the on. Uh, next time we need to get like one. I think they had like a parmesan or something like that. Yeah, look, look I at me. I guess I taste the pea. Oh yeah, I forgot. Javon just had just brought me these. I forgot I had bought these. I I supposed to have these in like a Dollar Tree. How, but let's try them. I had purchased them from the Dollar Tree, y'all, when I saw them. Now, let's turn it over, honey. That's the um, white cheddar. That's what it was, white cheddar. So, let's try that one. You got it in the Ziploc bag? Yeah. Uh-oh, them going in my, my um, haul. I was saving these for my Dollar Tree haul, but... um. So, it's the same thing? Oh, it is, then. Uh-huh, turn it around, honey. Back up some, you too close to the camera. So these I purchased, like I said, from Publix. Buy one, get one. Mm. Buy one, get one. But these were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Hmm. Bad, about the same as that. Mm. So you probably like them better because they should have like some type of flavor. All right, so this one is the white cheddar. White cheddar. It yeah. ain't good. <laughs> what is real cheesy? Yeah, it actually give you that. I like the other one better. Really? <laughs> it actually what give you that actually white. It's like you tasting it too. Like you biting into a piece of cheese. Oh, okay. So that's too much. Ugh, taste it. I don't want to taste it. Either. I mean, no, heck no, heck no. <laughs> Ooh, I can smell the cheese. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. Oh my goodness, that's mm -hmm. that's light. Yeah, come on, team. Come on, team, Mona. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like, uh, uh-uh. No, I don't like them right here. Now, somebody else might like them. Yeah, but, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, them better. <laughs> and you would think these would be better because it's white cheddar. I forgot to show y'all two other items that we had in the freezer that we picked up. These extra crispy um, fries. What's going on, family? So it is the next day, and we just totally left y'all hanging last night. 
we were so tired y'all so we went to put the food up and we were supposed to come back to close the vlog out and y'all we end up going to bed so i also discovered that it was some stuff that was left in the refrigerator that i did not get a chance to show you all in the um haul that we did so i want to just show you these items that we forgot to to show y'all okay yesterday. yeah so i picked up these steaks now that's gonna be for our um philly cheese steak egg rolls and i have the egg roll wrappers i also have um the peppers to go in there i already have onions in the refrigerator so that's gonna be for um the philly cheese steak egg rolls i think we showed you all how to make those let me know if you all want to see us do a video on um the philly cheese steak egg rolls but like i said i think we have one but if y'all want us to do it again we'll do it again but um i also purchased some uh shredded cheese some orange juice and this um honey butter spread as well as the cinnamon sugar Dylan and Jaden, they like to eat those on um, toast and also on their bagels. And I picked up some um, bagels from Publix, some bananas. And you all always ask me where I purchased this Parmesan cheese from. I purchased that from Publix. So this, this is what I like to use in the Alfredo sauce as well as my macaroni and cheese. Um, so from Costco, I know a lot of you, Mitra's got all of y'all looking for these Kaneka sausage. So I purchased these from Costco. So I'm not sure you can check and see if your local Costco has them, but this is a really good deal because, um, as you can see, you get a lot of sausage in this pack. And I want to say this was $13.99. Yeah, I think it was $13.99. And the last item... I purchased this gelato. Let me know if you all have tried gelato or like gelato. I purchased this from Fresh Market. Um, but Publix, they used to have it, but I don't know, they stopped carrying it. I actually like the coffee without the chocolate chip, but this is the only flavor that I've been able to find because Publix no longer carry it. And Fresh Market, they carry it, but they don't carry just the plain coffee without the chocolate chips. So if you all have tried this, let me know. They also, in Whole Foods, now if you go to the section where they make the smoothies and all of that stuff, they actually have fresh gelato. So if you all have a Whole Foods, try that uh, coffee. It's either coffee or I think they call it mocha. But it's really good. If you like coffee, you'll definitely like this um, gelato. The other item that I forgot to show you all was these stadium chairs. And we picked these up from Sam's. Um, I want to say they were $14.99. Yeah, $14.99. And as soon as I walked in the door and saw them, I told them, I'm like, we need to go ahead and grab those. I'm not sure. Of course, our kids, they are not going back to school. But Dylan and Jamon um they're involved in sports so and jamon is involved in the band so we're still not sure if they're gonna have like a band season you know a football season so if so then we already have our stadium chairs because y'all know we are going to be at every game um if they have it but the thing i like about these chairs these stadium chairs is they have like these little compartments where you can put items so they have this one, and then they have this little um, compartment right here, and then they have this one. So, um, you know, you can put your cell phone if you have something to drink and all of that. And then also on the bottom, now this is this attached to the chair, so when you're carrying it, then it's not in the way. But they also have these little, I don't know what you, you call these little hinge things but you slide this under the bleacher so i thought that was um pretty cool i don't know if all of them have it because i've never had this type of stadium chair but um i didn't think that was a bad deal for 14.99 i also wanted to show you guys before i get off of here this juicer that was sent out to us 
and this is a slow juicer and i can definitely tell the difference between this juicer and my other juicer but i will have um the coupon code on the screen as well as link in the description box and then i'm going to show you how we actually used it um earlier in the week so i'll insert footage of what it looks like and i can say this juicer it makes a lot more juice um because it's a slow juicer and your pulp is not wet it's very dry so i think we juiced i want to say two pineapples and we had you know a good amount of juice out of those pineapple i mean not pineapples pears out of those pears for it to be just two pairs so um like i said i will leave that link in the description box as well as the coupon code we also had these candles sent out to us and they are offering you guys a discount as well you should see that on the screen as well as the um code for that discount and um yeah so check out these different companies um, I will say as far as the candle, the rum coconut is my favorite. And um, as far as the other juicer that I have, I'm going to have to say I really like this juicer because it is the cleanup is easy. Um, I'll put that in the, in the video, insert that as well, just showing Demetrius cleaning it up and putting it back together. So, And it's not as large as the other one that I have. Um, so, like I said, check out those two companies. And um, if you are in the market for a juicer or some candles, make sure you go over to the website and get you some goodies. All right, y'all. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you are not a part of the Meet Your Monica crew, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And um, yeah, drop us a comment. So we will see you guys in the next video. And remember, in everything that you do, remember to do it big. We'll see you guys in the next video.